Fire control. Weapon acquired. Con. Fire control. Weapon countermeasure homing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Captain Chang Plays Cold Waters. So let's start with the duel, probably the simplest scenario there is. 1v1, 1984. Let's pick a relatively... Well, let's pick something a little slower, shall we? Uh, skipjack, permit, sturgeon. Let's do a sturgeon. Okay, and... Uh, we're not going to change any loadout because we're... But I'll show you the loadout. Three moss, 14 torpedoes, eight are loaded. No T-Lam, no t -Zam. Eight harpoons. We have 23 out of 23, 19 decoys loaded. The only thing I'll change is I'm going to load one moss. And so let's pick moss and load that. And then we'll select tube two and battle stations. On sonar, new contact bearing. First thing blue. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Always. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Three, three, zero. Designated Sierra two. Okay, there's a Sierra one and there's a Sierra two. Let's go ahead and identify. Actually, we did cheat a little bit. That is uh, obviously a whale. Uh, Sierra 1, we're now, now that we know it's a whale. Con, sonar, new contact bearing, two, nine, eight. Well, Sierra, three. doesn't look like we need to identify that anymore, do we? And looks like we do have a There's no layer, so it's not that. That guy is just very, very quiet. So what are we looking at about S3? That's a trawler. Or a partisan. Okay. We know S3 is there. We don't want to get too close to him. We should be able to detect him in this kind of water. That's not going to be a correct range. On the other hand, that is 8 kilometers. That's pretty close. On the other hand, we need to try different depths to find him so let's go down to 200 let's see if we can uh, get a better signal and we did have our toad array streamed
let's double check our own limits. Sturgeon can go down to 402. Nice. Make depth three, zero, zero, die by. Let's go down to 300. Just be very, very quiet about it. Generally, you want the uh, ability to pinpoint the enemy without uh, giving away your own position. Okay, what is zero three? Sorry about that. We believe he's shallower than we are. Should we go all the way down to 400? That is the question. In which way is this thing going anyway? I think I saw the pixel move that way. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna go west. Go oh yes. Oh yes, we can definitely do that. Sierras are quite new, if I remember correctly. They are contemporaries of the Akula, which means they are 80 subs. Whereas the Sturgeons is a 60 sub, well, maybe 70s. I mean, Sturgeon, Permit, same generation. It's definitely before the LAs, and the LAs uh, are built in the 1976, and so on. So, we should be able to slip in behind him, hopefully. Tell you what, we're going to go this way. Okay. Con Helm, steady course. Okay, slowing down. Make turns for two knots, maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for two knots. Well, well, let's see if he's making a circle. Or he's just making a zigzag. B 
because if he's making a circle, then I'm gonna feed him a torpedo right away. And he's doing this at 12 knots as if he doesn't have a care in the world. Amazing. He has a total race, so he is able to hear me. He, that means he doesn't have a baffles. That's a bit of a problem. And there's no layer to hide behind. So that is a bit of a concern. But what we can do is, and remember, we're within 10 clicks. What we can do I have no idea what the heck that guy's doing. He just did a random S maneuver. Well, what we can do is we're going to retract the array now. And we are going to feed him the decoy and three and at least two fish. And we are going to make a run for it. So. And we'll try to use the humpback as the me shield. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. One. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. Two. Shoot two, two. Aye, sir. Three. Reload. Let's go back to five knots. Let's go to four hundred. Five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing two four three. Contact faded. Okay, both are set to sub mode, eh, let's see, Con, 
Torpedo room, tube one ready. Let's send another one this way just in case he did something. Torpedo room, tube one ready. Okay, looks like he saw us coming. Let's level off at one zero zero. I want to know where the heck he is. Con fire control weapon acquired. Fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, well, with two torpedoes on him and he didn't fire back, we have pretty much got this nailed. And of course, two's going off in random directions. Sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, two, five. Okay, looks like both of the torpedoes are going for the decoy, which is exactly why we send it out first.
Noisemaker bearing two, two, zero. You got one torpedo, but not the other. That's why we send out two of them. Here comes the other torpedo. And folks, that's how you survive a contact with a superior enemy. And now we can leave. And that is how you combat a superior or even an inferior uh, enemy submarine. Any questions? We covered that uh, we were stripping the deaths, uh, trying to find the best uh, death to observe the enemy submarine. We have observed that he has towed array, but we fired a decoy first, we fired a moss first, then the submarines, the, the, then the torpedoes, so that the decoy, when he counterfired, was able to draw away his torpedoes while we were able to get away. And our two torpedoes, as you can see, I did not try to even guide them was able to follow him uh, to the was able to follow him to the end and kill them any questions please leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next one